Hello everyone, welcome back to PPA interview tutorials and continuing to the last topic that is on statistics in Lean Six Sigma. Today we came up with a few interesting concept which basically used when we are working with the statistics. These need to be learned by all the Six Sigma holders because if we know this, yes, we can solve the problem very easily. So before moving to the video, I would like everyone please share, subscribe the channel, click on bell icon, also check out the playlist. You will find videos related to Six Sigma certification, quality analyst, trainers, operation team lead, MS Excel tricks, dashboard, Google Studio, more than 100 plus videos are there so that you can learn and crack your interview very easily. So welcome back guys. So today we will learn about mean mode median in MX Excel. Guys, it's very easy. We have learned all those things in our 10th class or maybe in uh, lower to that because those are the basics that we all need to know and these all are will be used in the statistics in the six sigma so today we will learn one by one the first one which is mean guys the mean we know very well mean which means it's an average if we take average directly the formula for the average is a v e r a g e and if we select all the numbers from the cell you will get the average of, the, of this number that is 90 and the same we can do here, uh, consider this as a mean uh, for the set of data what we have. So easily we can get this if someone asks how to calculate mean, the basic understanding or definition that will be the average of all the given data set is done as mean. Now let's move to the another part that is median. The name itself says which means the middle value of the data set. How we can guess the middle value of the data set that we can do with the help of the function that is known as median. You can directly use equal to median and select the data set from which way you want to get the median of the number. So the median of this data set that is 92 guys and we will be considering that as a medium for our data set. Now this is very easy to calculate and let's move to the mode. Mode is a amazing thing guys that will be used at multiple per multiple ways. Suppose if you want to know the repetition of the numbers, how we can get that. So we will use it mode, the same function, we will go here, select the data set. It will give us which number got repeated multiple times. Here we can see 97 got repeated two times. That is the reason he had shown this number. Now let's, let's go with in this way, like if I have 95% two times. Why he did not took the 90, uh, 95 and took 97 because greater the number along with that how many times it got repeated. If there are equal in the numbers then it will take the greater number. Now I will take 95 again. It took 95 because the 95 repeated for the 3 times. Here it will not go for the greater number. It will go for the number of repeated count what we have available here. So these are the 3 concepts which basically we will use in the 6 sigma statistics i i believe like these are the basic we all knows if we don't know please watch out very clearly start it again and check it out i'm just giving you an fii guys these are the basics you need to remember next we will learn variance standard deviation many things are in in the pipeline guys we will learn all those things on the basis of that we will work on one of the project we will get to know why we are using this why we are learning this so this is all about the uh, video guys if you still have any doubt please let me know share your feedback and comment